Everybody. Uh, my name is Lenore von Stein, and this is an episode of The Facts. Uh, and I'm sitting here tonight with Andrew Bolotowski, Bern Nix, Jim Theobald, and Beth Griffith. And uh, this, uh, this is an episode of, of uh, is, is, this episode is a continuation of me looking into why I can't create, I couldn't create a realistic male character, though I think now after doing these episodes, I can. And, um, but one thing that I'm pretty sure of when you're struggling tr with reality, or at least this is what I do, realism is in the details. So if you can't figure out, how, you know, you have to think about the details, you know, and, and whether or not you use them in your creation. Um, um, I'm thinking, like, for instance, like painters boiling down elements of their picture down to essential shapes and colors and relationships with, you know, Mondrian. <laughs> I'm building, here's a detail. The man I'm building doesn't like makeup. Um, I don't know why in this fictional character, semi-fictional, um, I, I don't even know if it's true.
of my clothing years. This I'm particularly upset about. All of my clothing years, which is, you know, I don't know, from three or something on, I've spent reshaping my body for the most flattering visual impact. Flattering by inescapable standards. I mean, I can't escape them. And, um, and I, <laughs> what a drag. And besides which, I don't want to be liked or disliked for the way I look. You know, one has to protect oneself. This man that I'm building, uh, he um, he distrusts his mother, and by extension, women in general. And his mother was a very anxious person, but she, but she wasn't attentive. She, uh, uh, she she wasn't affectionate. She was bored. She was distracted, and and. Her, her overtones, her ruthless overtures, not overtones, her, 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 her movements towards her children, they could just go on and on, but they, they, weren't, they weren't helpful. They were hurtful often, and, and, and he just couldn't hide enough. So it's, it's just like shaped, you know, how we, as, as these experiences shape us all and how we, and how we deal with people later in life. You, you sense the boulder coming at you. Oh, I know that.
I'm going to make my character um, embarrassed, hurt, furious by what he feels is his underachievement and angry with the lack of respect he gets for what he's done and, and for the people he likes, from people he likes or admires. And, and I, I realized that my father was like that. My father was a really angry guy and really bitter. And um, so, you know, I, I have a certain feeling for this. Um, um, my father had to leave school at 16 uh, because he and some friends um, uh, demonstrated against a Nazi teacher, and they were thrown out of school for doing that. Um. <laughs> Oh. 
He's worried. Let's say he, this guy's worried about women choosing him because he's, he's because he's there. You know, like the problem of the rich. You know, do they like me for me, or they like me because I'm rich, or they like me because I'm a man? They need a man, and women feel like that. Does he like me because of the way I look? I had a dream. I, I had. I had. It was. A, it was a nice dream, uh, of nice. In, you know, in quotes. And okay. So here's a dream. Uh, so I, I'm with this man, and my hair is disheveled, and and we're in this big. Uh, we're in a department store in a sports car. We're trying to drive out of the department store in this sports car, and we see a freight elevator that's going to handle the sports car, and, and we're looking for the exit anyway. So we go into the freight elevator, and, and during this part of the dream, I'm very anxious, and I'm worried that uh, about my position with this man because, because maybe he didn't like me, and I felt, you know, I felt greatly diminished and, 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 and endlessly vulnerable. And... Um, he was the boss, and you know, it was like he was the boss, and it was a non-union job, an unskilled non-union job. So anyway, I wake up for a moment, and 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 then I went back to the dream, and and now the second part of the dream, we're happy, we're sensual, we're friends, we're laying on the beach or somewhere. I feel secure, and his attitude towards me has changed. He's friendly, he's, he's interesting, and I could see more of him. I could interact with him more as myself, and and I said, this is wonderful. If this was love, what love can be, if this is what sex can be, I want more of this. And, and, and one of the things, and then I woke up, and one of the things that I thought about when I woke up was this thing I heard about called the girlfriend experience, that men can hire women to give them the girlfriend experience. So Uh, 
can it how 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 can it not be how can it how can it be how can it be how can it be that it's 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 how can it be that you can't if you can't get past that if you can't get past that point if you can't go over that hill if you can't if you can't go around that bend then you can't go around that bend and 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 we're almost at the end of this this discussion and I you know I you have to you have to you have to go you have to go around that bend 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 you have to go around it 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 you have to go around you have to go around it 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 you have to go Sad. Told with story this particular moment in the story it's you know the end is always the beginning and it's always the so we'll see you you can find us on the web and you know what the heck I hope you're well and see you soon jelly beans and I don't know why I keep saying that and good night good night from all of us <laughs>